All right, Spank the Monkey coming again at you with another unboxing video. This time it's going to be the uh, Commander Precon product uh, from uh, Legend of uh, Battle for Baldur's Gate, which is from the Commander Legends um, set that just came out a few months ago. And today we're going to be unboxing uh, the Commander, the White Black Commander, Nalia de Arnis. So this is sort of uh, um, commander that's focused on the party mechanic and that's why it's called party time. So let's get to cracking and let's open this um, pre-con. Uh, apologies if it looks a little bit roughed up. Uh, must have been through transit uh, as I got this via pre-order. So what does it say? It's you or your party and they'll die if you won't go. If you want to go. If you want to. Choose your commander and overcome both friend and foe in this definitive multiplayer magic format. Group up with Nalia and a full party of clerics, rogues, warriors, and wizards. Complete party grants you access to massive power-ups that will leave your opponents in the dust. So Nalia de Arnis, born to a noble house of moderate means, Nalia was trained as a wizard from a young age. While seeking out at night to train as a rogue, she is eager to ally with adventurers and fight to protect the weak. If her choice of companions leads her to take part in any wrongdoing, she makes amends and brings the villains to justice. Okay, so it comes with a collector booster sample pack, 100 card deck with 10 new cards, a deck box, and 10 sided token cards. Plus, a foil etched display commander, a life wheel, strategy insert, and a reference card. So let's see what we get in this box. Okay. So, uh, these are the cards over here. And we have uh, sort of the, uh, the packaging up on top with these inserts that you can uh, remove. Uh, these punch counters, as they call them, that you can uh, take out. Okay, so we'll look into that later. So, after all that packaging, then we're left with this little uh, baby over here. So opening that, we get the following items. Okay, we get the so-called life wheel. It's pretty nice with the art of uh, uh, what's the name of this commander, Nalia. Then we have this um, collector booster sample pack. We'll open that later. Okay, we just have this insert. Uh, we have this. Uh, this is a poster with some information regarding the mechanic. Commander rules, write up on the commander, art. and we get to the deck. So let's uh, open this, shall we? Okay, uh, we're looking for the little um, thing over here, maybe from this side. Okay, not use make it right there all right here we go so this is the commander um, for this particular free con Nalia de Arnis so it's a one black and white uh, legendary creature human rogue uh, and it says you may look at top card of your library at any time. You may cast a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard spells from the top of your library. Begin in combat in your turn. If you have a full party, put a 1 1 counter on each creature you control, and those creatures can get touched until the end of the turn. Alright, so I think this is um, fairly interesting um, as a commander, uh, but I think that the more powerful commander in this deck actually would be Burapos Party Leader. Um, because if you take a look at this guy, so he's uh, three and black uh, to cast a legendary orc, two four. So Burapos, party leader, is also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. Whenever Burapos attacks, defending player loses X life, and you create X treasure tokens for X is number of creatures in your party. And then you can choose a background. So what's new in the um, commander precon for the bat Battle of Baldur's Gate? set is that we have this element called the um, background so it's, it's basically like a partner but an enchantment and uh, we have this as the uh, background so it's called folk hero which is uh, one and white 
um, commander creatures you own have whenever you cast a spell that shares a creature attack with this creature, draw draw a card. This ability triggers only once each turn. So if you put these two together, you get uh, the ability to um, uh, uh, give a non-combat damage to a target um, player. You can create X number of tokens, right, based on the number of uh, uh, people that you have in your party. And at the same time, if you have your folk hero in play, then you can uh, um, draw a card whenever you cast a spell um, that shares a creature type, right? Which would be uh, all four uh, creature types. So this is actually a very strong pairing compared to Nalia. Uh, so I would probably look to build a deck using these two rather than Nalia. Nalia can be part of the 99. So let's put that away. Okay. So we have Arcane Signet, Command Tower, Haven Mind Sensor, Bird Wizard, we have a Crib Swap, okay. Irregular Cohort, Mage's Attendant, Cat Rogue, Mother of Runes, okay. Could we pick? Priest of Ancient Lore, Rumor Gatherer, Valiant Changeling, that's for the whites, and then we have for the black, changing outcast, corpse auger, malachir, blood priest, dwarf the grave, zulu port cutthroat, which is always pretty good, the spark, okay, and then for the um, artifacts, you have uh, signet, you get skull clap, that's a very good reprint there, of course, soul ring, you have ash baron, you have talisman of hierarchy. Then for the mana base, with Jukabog, Mortuary Mire, Here in Landscape, Basilica, Ancestry, it's the Sinkhole. Okay, we have a reprint from AFR. No, actually, this is coming from the Commander Legends uh, 2 set. Um, we have Deep Gnome Terramancer. We have the Harper Recruiter, and a Seasoned Dungeoneer. The white, and stick together. For the black, I think there's a very strong enchantment here, black market connection, so it's two in the black. Being of your pre-combat main phase, you choose one or more. Spell contraband, you create a treasure token, lose one life. Buy information, draw a card, you lose two life. Hire mercenary, create a 3-2 colorless shapes shapeshifter creature token with changeling, you lose three life. So I think that's, that's pretty good. Let's put that over here. Then we have a Solemn Dooms gu Doom Guide, Tiefling Cleric, we're seeing a lot more Tieflings coming out now. Then we have this Multi-Class Baldric, Archpriest of Iona, Austere Command for a board wipe, pretty good. Bygone Bishop, Dusk and Dawn, Eight and a Half Tails, Frontline Medic, Gale Powder Mage, Glorious Protector, Jazal Goldmane, Magnus of, ba of the Balance, and Nikaeus the Luna, Mirror Entity, Order of White Clay, Selfless Spirit, Sivine's Reclamation, Solemn Recruit, Squad Commander, Unbreakable Formation. Then we have the Blood Soaked Champion, Butcher of Malakir, Calculating Lich. Dire Fleet Ravager, Gaunty Lord of Luxury, Grim Harispex, Grim Hireling, Mardu Strike Leader, Mind Blade Render, Nighthawk Scavenger, Pontiff of Light, Puppeteer Click. Then we have Felisa, Fang of Silver Quill, coming from the Strixhaven set. And we have Firja's Retribution, coming from the Kaldheim set. High Priest of Penance. Okay, and then we get a very nice Mask with Nexus, which is perfect for um, this party time deck. Then for the mana base, Castle Lock Thin, Mute the Vault, Shambling Event, Temple of Silence, Vault of the Archangel, War Room. Could be Prince when there's kites. Then we have uh, the rest of the mana base. So there you have it um, for the mana, and then we get uh, the initiative and the undercity, which I don't think will come into play for this particular uh, 
Commander Precon. And then these are tokens, shapeshifters, core warriors, end warriors, and on the back, inklings, treasure, tokens, wizard, angel warrior, shapeshifters, and a clue token. So that's pretty much it for this Commander Precon unboxing. I'm looking forward to upgrading this deck further and we'll be looking to um, use um, Burakos and Folk Hero for the commander rather than Nalia. Okay, for the bonus round, we have this um, collector booster sample pack. Let's uh, see what it has. I wonder if there's anything good here, but I doubt it. Okay, we have uh, three cards. We have a sort of marketing pack there. First one would be a Displacer Kitten in Borderless. Hey, this is a pretty nice pickup. And we have a Showcase Mahadi Emporium Master. Wow, so this is actually a pretty good um, pickup right here. So Displacer Kitten, it's one of those uh, CEDH cards that uh, are picking up some interest now. And we have it in Borderless, pretty nice. All right, that's it guys, thank you, bye-bye.